Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Daisy Party. In the last episode, we started the epic and amazing celebration that is Daisy's birthday party. How old is she? Nobody knows because you never ask a woman her age. In this episode, we are going to not go to Toad's Midway Madness because we did that in the last episode. And this is this episode, not the last episode. It's this episode, which will one day be next episode, or I guess one day, yes, which was yesterday, was last episode or next episode. And now it's going to be this episode, and the next episode it'll be last episode. We're going to Shy Guys Jungle Jamboree. I guess it's party time. Let's party! In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the shy guy jams tonight. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Oh, we I didn't even get to read that! It was like, welcome to Shy Guys Jumble Jam. I'm not bold enough to go on real adventure, so I made my board look like a wild jungle. He made an imaginary adventure. Oh, it's so great. Deep in the heart of this jungle lies a mysterious world for you to explore. I really wish Donkey Kong was here. Hey, how come Luigi gets two stinking goes around? That's not fair. He's stinking Luigi. You should be dead. Oh, so who would you like to go first? And... Eight. Oh, I got second this time. That's nice. So little Wario's first. And we got Daisy does number two. Waluigi's third. And Luigi's fourth because he's dead, as we all know. I'm just gonna, like, every LP from now on that has Luigi in it, I'm just gonna, like, acknowledge the fact that he died and he shouldn't be here right now. Whatever. <laughs> Woohoo! We got corns. And the star space is a uh, happy adventuring. Oh, I was thinking Love Shy Guy. I really wish he got to become a playable character in a Mario Party game before the crummy ones. That's so stinking unfortunate that he got subjected to nine. But the star space is over there, so let's see if we can get- I like how the, even the star space is kind of shy. He was hiding behind a mountain. It's kind of funny. Wow, Wario's off to a crummy star by having his foot go through the floor and lose three coins right off the bat. Hopefully I could do better than him, or I could do the exact same as him. Alright, at least I don't have my foot going through the floor. Maybe I do, I just can't see because my lovely dress. And while Luigi gets a five, yes, right, Luigi, number five. Gets a mega mushroom. So I'm recording this the same day I'm recording uh, Toad's Midway Madness because uh, I actually just found out that I'm getting a wisdom tooth taken out tomorrow, so I probably won't be able to record. I was actually tempted to uh, record the Goomba, but wow, lucky minigame already, jeez. I was tempted to make an attempt at Tempted to make an attempt that's a tongue twister. I was tempted to try and record the Goomba board uh, while I was all high on uh, Tooth medicine or whatever it's called just because it'd be like I don't know Vegas drunk something like that I don't know but nah part of me doesn't want to see what would happen if I was uh, In that state so we're just not even gonna do it making waves the team players must pound must pound the ground or pound the pond to make waves while the lawn lone player must try to balance on the shell Luigi moves, oh he's the one player, and then we're the three, so we get to knock him into the water. There's always such an intense minigame, and oh no, the ship has sank. Stop. I just noticed, what the fruit? I just noticed that whale in the top right, I've never noticed that before. There's like a little whale with a tree coming out of its head. Okay, that's cool, I just noticed that. Uh, the water graphics look really sinking good in this area. Like, GameCube had really stellar water graphics. Who, uh, of course, Sunshine, they had so much work on it and stuff. I feel like the water in Sunshine is better than the water in Galaxy just because they put so much time and effort into it, and like 90% of Sunshine is water. I wanted to see Sunshine get uh, re released so I could hear IG and make water jokes or something. Did I seriously not win this? I feel like we always win this usually. So we, gotta, we usually want to do is like group together and then hit from one side, but I guess it wasn't happening this time around. Uh, I don't appreciate Luigi having an early lead. He's got 33 coins. Oh, yeah, because that was a lucky mini game. Uh, that's really bad for him to win right off the bat. And we got a red space. Uh, maybe I might actually lose this board. Oh, no, off to a bad start. He's got a one. All right, not as bad as Wario, though. Of course, watch me mimic his every stinking move for the entire stinking game. That'd be amazing. Eight, thank you. I did not jinx myself. And there you go. And got 10 coins. Yeah, we got back to normal. See, and we're getting smooshed by Waluigi. Great. We're gonna lose all our corns. Uh, this is off to a crummy start. Uh, Waluigi's got a four and a two. Oh, 
One, two, three, four, five. Wow, it was just enough. Are you kidding me? Oh boy, I need a reversal of fortune up in this hizzy. This is not a good start. Uh, Luigi gets a seven. Where's he gonna go? Is the question. He's going to there. I think, yeah, that's obviously where the star is, so I guess that's a good move on his part. But the way to the left has some interesting stuff uh, that we could check out, maybe, possibly. Bomb Bomb Breakers. Breakers, I just met hers. Uh, let's see if I can kick that habit as well and get rid of all the old catchphrases. Of New Year for me. Oh, this one. Connect three three like shapes to make them disappear. Remember, you can also play in other people's areas. First one to 100 points wins. So it's like Tetris attack. Move blocks, rotate clockwise, rotate counterclockwise, and flip over. Let's see if I can do it. I recently got an NES Classic for the first time, as opposed to not for the first time, not collecting NES Classics. But um, I recently got one, finally, along last, and uh. One of, like, there's only two games on there that I actually wanted and, like, didn't have already, and those were Pac-Man and Dr. Mario. And, oh my god, I'm just so stinking bad at Dr. Mario, but I love it so stinking much. It's just so easy to get addicted to. I just love those games so stinking much, but I just, I'm not super good at them. But it's just fun to, like, uh, get lost in. I know that's, like, sort of the appeal of Tetris, to just be addicted to it forever. Uh, that... Uh, 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 oh, I should have done the other thing. God darn it. Uh, diagonals do not count, unfortunately. I'm getting a lot of diagonals up in here. Uh, phooey. Uh, phooey. Oh, here, there's a bomb. That, that could be nice. It might be nice if this actually works. Oh, hey, it did. Cool. Uh, do that. And. Oh, now, nah, poop. Uh, so hard to focus. You gotta get to 100 points. Waluigi's already out, which is funny. Uh, really. Get down there. God darn it. Uh, what the heck happened? I heard, like, a little jingle of happiness, but it wasn't for me, I don't think. Uh, really. This is gonna go bad. This is gonna go super poorly. Oh, jeez. Oh, I did it right last second. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, really. I keep on forgetting to do, like, the flip rama no, that's not Captain Underpants. Speaking of Captain Underpants, apparently Captain Underpants got a, uh, what should we call it? a Netflix show, and it's really singing bad. Uh, they got the kid, they got the kids to be voiced by actual kids though, which is nice. I'm glad they finally did that. Hey, I won. I'm glad they finally did that because like that was my biggest complaint with Captain Underpants the movies that like, the they don't sound like kids. <laughs> it's so it just sounds so bad. Oh, uh, George and Harold just they do not have good voice actors. But um, I don't know the TV show. They just sound so generic. Like they're kids but yeah there's not like nothing special about them i don't feel like so i don't really know what i want i guess but uh it's 2d animated not 3d animated like the movie was and a lot of the humor is just very very slow like i'll just tell you right now if you want to get on my bad side not really on my bad side but, like if you want to my number one criticism with shows or comedy in general is uh what i like to call stalling humor in which people think it's funny to just stall and do nothing. Uh, hello, this is the item job. What would you like to do? Buy an item. I uh, don't want anything. Oh, mini mega hammer's a new item. It, uh, you use it on an opponent and you randomly make them big or small the next turn. So it could be kind of cool and strategic, maybe possibly, but I don't really ever use it. Uh, I think we already saw those. And I like how. Um, for every character and every board, so Shy Guy is the one in control of all the shops now since it's his board. And he has like special text specifically directed for Shy Guy, so like he's not as confident as Toaster was all like, Oh, hello, this is the item shop, what would you like to do? I say don't buy anything. I see, I thought maybe, well, never mind, come back real soon, I'll be here. He just so stinking nervous, like so much added detail, which is really cool. And are you kidding me, I'm going backwards. Uh, uh, you could somewhat time this, I think Luigi's the closest, so... Uh, I'll try and go for him. Wow, I did not even get close. Alright, fine. Waluigi. What was I even talking about? Oh, yeah. Uh, my biggest complaint with, like, uh, humor or whatever. I know, I know I've been on this tangent for a long time, time, but... Uh, I hate stalling humor, which is what I call it. It's that people... Whenever people, like, make a joke or there's a gag in a show where the entire joke is just, like, repeating the same thing over and over and over again or just being stuck on the same thing or just being in complete silence for a long time thinking it's funny when it's really stinking not... Like, I remember I saw a commercial for a Cartoon Network show called OKKO, OK and I haven't seen the show itself, so I can't really say anything about it. Oh, hey, Bowser Space! First time we're seeing that. 
Uh, I'm never gonna get this topic finished. Oh boy. What the fruit, Koba kid? He's gonna take 10 coins from everyone. So here's the thing. Bowser or Koba Kid could appear on the Bowser space. Bowser will sometimes do Bowser Revolution. He could sometimes do Bowser Minigame. It could be a variety of things. I think Koba Kid is a lot more threatening than Bowser because Koba Kid will always just steal coins. Sometimes he steals it from the person who landed on the space. Sometimes he steals it from everyone. And he could steal like up to 40 coins sometimes. It's really sinking terrible. So I think Koba Kid's a lot more threatening than Bowser in this game. So be on the lookout for that. I'm actually always super excited whenever we see Bowser because he's, uh, at least you could have a fighting chance for your stuff when you enter a Bowser minigame. Oh, whatever, this is Hopper Pop. We've seen this minigame before. What the fruit am I trying to get on the stinking tangent? Um, you know what I'm talking about? Like, there was a commercial for OKKO. OK I haven't seen the show, so I can't really talk about what the show is like itself, but it was talking about, like, hey, there's a new episode coming out, and, like, every time the uh, announcer dude, like, was, he got a sentence out, they would show a clip of the main character guy who just say, OK, like, or yes, or whatever. It was just him saying OK, and it was just repeating that over and over and over again. It was like, you like the show? OK. You want to see more episodes of the show? OK. Well, we're going to have more episodes of the show. OK. It's going to be on this time later today. OK. Be here later and watch the show. OK. This is Cartoon Network. OK. It's like, it's so stupid. It just keeps on going over and over and over again. And like, the first episode of the Captain Underpants show that I watched, like, right, like, not even a minute into the episode, there's like George and Harold being brought into the deten- I almost have the detention center, like it's Phoenix Wright or something. Uh, they got brought into detention, and they uh, were sitting in Krupp's office, and Krupp is just like going through his papers, like looking for the thing that he needs to like call them out on. And it's just them sitting in silence while he's going through the book. He's not even like saying anything funny to himself, he's just flipping through the pages, and he's just like, hmm, hmm. And it's just like going through the pages and it goes for like 30 seconds and it's so dumb like why is that a thing there were there were like five stalling jokes in that one episode before i finally decided to just skip the single thing of course I one. you know what i think i'm gonna do a little thing yeah i'm gonna go this way instead because i'm not just not getting the star i'm gonna get a happening space instead cast your wish into the shy guy well so you could wish for a fun wish or a sad wish depending on what the statue thinks of your wish it could make something happen to the entire board let's go for a fun wish I just thought it was weird that Daisy said Yahoo is like Wario. It's fun to say at the YMCA. Um, this particular wish. <laughs> oh, I hate fun! Fun is evil! Makes the shy guy, well, very sad. Its tears now flow like a river on the, over the land. I don't know what voice I'm supposed to give Shy Guy, like, sometimes I give him, like, the, ooh, the Sky Bud voice or whatever. Then other times, like, wee, wee, oh, oh, I'm a shy guy, wah, huh. Uh, I don't know. He's just a weirdo. The next one turns, the bridge will be unusable. Oh no, how sad. Uh, he enjoys the wish, then just nothing happens at all, I think. But yeah, long story short, stalling jokes are not funny. Just like how being random does not equal funny. It's like, oh hey, we're, we got a chicken in this pants. Cause chicken, it's funny. What did we use to catch the ghost? A potato sack! Why do you have a potato sack with you? I like potatoes! Let's bring up potatoes in your character for every single episode going forward because that's such a detrimental plot point and a very amazing character trait that clearly got implemented properly. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm just so sick and angry about like how things are written. Oh my god, I know this, like, that was a big thing with Spongebob when I get started going downhill. There was so many singing stalling jokes where, like, I remember there was one episode where, like, the episode started out with Mr. Krabs, like, going over to Squidward and he just, like, he stood next to him and then just cleared his throat for 30 seconds. And Squidward just didn't react to it. That was the entire scene. It was just, like, him clearing his throat. And it was supposed to be funny because it went on forever. I... If you want to know how to get my get on my nerves, then that's the way to do it. Just singing stalling jokes. Because we all know that it is not funny, and of course, I would never stoop to something so low. Uh, more than once, at least. So let's just go ahead and play basket base. Uh, oh, I knocked his ball out of the thing. What the fruit was that? Okay. Uh, I've been doing very bad with these minigames, I've noticed, so I should probably step my game up. And of course, I mentioned stepping my game up or getting my head in the game when we're uh, in the basketball level. Uh, come on, go in there. Thank you. I'm going to try and go just for the goal. Uh, up and up again. Go in there. Uh, go there. Yes. Okay. Cool. Did I make it? Cool. Daisy one. 
I'm gonna make it a bit of a comeback. I do have that happening star right now, so that's very helpful. But I need to get more corns, and I need to get a star.